that's wrong. Right. Right. But yeah, of course you lie. Sit there and organize. Try to be more than just hoes. Um, thinking you sort of tight. Cause someone wrote you lines. Thinking you whores have got flow. <laughs> no, you can record the lie. <laughs> Beautiful morning here in the neighborhood. Lockout, man. On the 30 in the truck. What's going on, y'all? How y'all feel? Yo, check it out. I know that's a I know that's kind of like irritating. So let me turn that off. Man, man oh man. Came back from the doctor yesterday. Doctor said I was good to go. He said, yo, man, you good to go. Check it out, y'all. I even got me a fresh pair of Jordans in the mail. Last pair of Jordans I ever had, and I never gotten any more, was 20, 2008, 2009. Jordans in the mail, so I'm feeling kind of good. It's been about 12 years since I brought a pair of Jordans. Now these shoes, man, all the controversy behind Jordans, made in Asia, made in China, we know these shoes is made for cheap over there, cheap labor. And then when it comes across the states, it's like $150, $180, $200. Man, that shit crazy. But I am a truck driver and I should splurge on myself every once in a while, right? Right, especially if it's something that I like. Look, just splurge on yourself just a little bit. A little bit, okay? When you do that, you can say, I got these while I was a truck driver. Anyway, yo, what's going on, man? Today's on the 30 question comes from Facebook as always. I think I got a couple of them. But this one right here, I probably put a couple of them on here, but I need you guys' advice. I need you guys' help. I need you guys to help this young man out. To, you know, whatever advice or whatever comments that you guys could come up with, man. Here it is. Here it is. It says, fam, I woke up feeling a little vulnerable. He's a little vulnerable. I just finished my first three days in trucking school and I really do need this opportunity. Trucking is an opportunity, man. It gives a lot of people pause for what they want to do, man. But sometimes people use this trucking opportunity as the last resort. We know that this is the only industry that you can jump into with little or no education. Well, you got to have your basics, you know, you got to have your diploma and a GED, I think. Yeah, but this is, I mean, basically this, what people try to make this job out is supposed, they, they try to make this out of a no brainer type of job and it really isn't, it, it really isn't, you know, you're going to need a little, at least a little bit of brains to do what needs to be done while driving the truck, all right? But at this point, I'm feeling a little overwhelmed, scared even, outside of my norm and definitely outside of my comfort zone. Hashtag scared. Look, look man, I know you're scared. I was scared at one point. Oh, damn. I see where the water coming from now. <laughs> I, just got, I just walked right into the sprinkler system. <laughs> But anyway, look, man, I, I know you're scared. I, I was scared at one point. I, I really didn't think I can do it. You know, when I went and paid that money, when I went to go and pay the money, I was scared. I was like, look, I told the lady behind the counter, I was like, look, go ahead and charge that car before I before I change my mind. I was scared when I got into the got into the class because I felt very overwhelmed of, of, of all the laws and the regulations and all the stuff that I needed to know before I even got into the front seat of the truck. I was scared when I went to go and take my um, take my test for, you know, take my test for my permit. You know, you gotta read the book. You gotta make sure you know everything in the book. General questions is like 50 questions and you can only miss like, what, 10, 15? Air, air brakes is like 20. And doubles and triples, doubles or not doubles and triples, I'm sorry, combinations is like 20. 
and you can only miss like maybe five out of each one of those so yeah i was scared i was i was terrified i was even scared when i actually got into the truck to start driving the manual now i thought driving the manual was easy because i'm, I'm i drove a manual before i drove a manual car all the time but come to find out that driving the manual truck is a hell of a lot different you know like how you can clutch in and clutch out on the car but you gotta like double clutch in double clutch out and then you know the downshift you got a double clutch downshift and all that stuff going up and down mountains up and down grades yeah this stuff is scary especially if you didn't do it before but after it's all said and done once you after a couple of days of doing it you get comfortable What the egg scramble, uh, the combo? You have to order for Sam? Okay. Well, I had to get breakfast for this morning. Now, I'm not ready to roll out yet. Not just yet, you know. I haven't got a, I haven't got my pre-plan yet. My fleet manager was like, yo, hold up before you uh, start that clock. I was like, yo, not a problem. <laughs> Your destination is on the left. I know it's on my left. It's right here on my left anyway <laughs> anyway it's it's scary it is at first it is it's going to be real scary it's going to be complicated it's going to be hard and you're going to be like you know you're going to get hit with so much stuff to process in your head you're going to be like damn it man how am i going to how am i going to do this is this the wrong idea to get into at first it was Cause you know when I got into it and I started to drive and I'm over here to try, try to double clutch and all like that, you know I was like, look, I'm just gonna go ahead and drive an automatic and just get my license restricted. No, don't do that. Don't do that. That's what I was told by my uh, by my uh, instructor. He was like, don't do that, lockout. Don't do that because if you restrict yourself, a lot of these good companies that you want to get with after you get your experience you're not going to be able to drive with them because you're restricted to only driving the automatic which means that they don't have no automatic trucks for you you're going to be stuck driving an automatic and i'm like i'm like i don't want to be stuck driving the automatic i mean i don't want to be stuck not driving because you know the places i want to go to that's giving me that good cpm and they only got uh, only got manuals. Well, that's what's gonna happen to you if you if you get stuck driving an automatic restriction on your license. In 1,000 feet, turn left onto Madison Avenue. But look, man, I'm I'm about to tell you this. Once you get into it you'll get used to it all right but once you're into it you just got to continue to be vigilant because when you get out on these roads man it's going to be totally different from what you learned in school bro i'm telling you right now what you learned in school you might as well throw everything that you learned in school in the trash because when you get out on these roads different let me tell you this little tidbit before i get up out of here only know that the schools is only give you enough training to pass your to pass for your cdls pretty much that's about it they're not going to train you about what to do in certain certain situations they're not going to train you about coupling you know couple the uh you know the truck to a trailer they're not going to train you about uh bridge laws well, yeah, they're gonna train you about bridge laws, but they're not gonna train you on how to scale your tandems and stuff like that. They only gonna give you enough information so that when you go to take your CDL test to get your license, that's the only information that they are gonna train you on, all right? Just remember that. So don't be scared, man. Don't be scared. I ain't never scared. I ain't never scared. I ain't never scared. I ain't never scared. All right? 
just come into it with an open mind and if you feel that you can and if you feel that you can do it do it trust me once you get that feeling in your heart that is something that you want to do it will happen for you all right it happened for me i can drive both stick and automatics now i prefer an automatic i can drive both Yo, that is about it, guys. Thank you very much for hanging out with me. I really do appreciate it. If you like videos like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more videos like this. And don't forget the coffee. Coffee's always good to the last drop. I'm just saying, hook your brother up with some coffee. Yo, until next time, I'll holler at you guys in another video. Peace.